On the 12th of December, 2019, eligible voters in the United Kingdom will have the opportunity to elect the 650 members of the lower house of the United Kingdom National Parliament, the House of Commons, which is informally known as Westminster. The United Kingdom consists of four components, which are called the constituent countries of the United Kingdom, or nations. These are England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Three of the four constituent countries of the United Kingdom have their own devolved parliaments and governments. Devolution differs from federalism in that the devolved powers of the subnational authority ultimately reside in the central government. Thus, the state remains, de jure, a unitary state. Legislation creating devolved parliaments or assemblies can be repealed or amended by the central government in the same way as any statute. The devolved parliaments hold separate elections from the national parliament. 533 members of the national parliament are elected in single-member, first-past-the-post constituencies in England, 59 in Scotland, 40 in Wales, and 18 in Northern Ireland. While the next regular election was not due until 2022, Parliament approved Prime Minister Boris Johnson's call for a snap election, the UK's second in three years, and the first election in December since 1923. The Prime Minister, head of government, is drawn from the House of Commons and must be able to command its support. The Prime Minister represents the United Kingdom in the European Council, the most powerful institution of the European Union. Let's have a look at the major parties running. The Conservative and Unionist Party, also known as the Conservatives or the Tory Party, is a national conservative party which is currently operating as the minority government supported in a confidence and supply agreement by the Democratic Unionist Party of Northern Ireland since 2017. The Conservative Party was founded in 1834 and has been one of the two largest political parties in the UK since then. The party has governed 16 separate times, including for 51 total years in the 20th century under prime ministers such as Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher. The party has a fairly diverse ideological base, containing both social conservatives and social liberals, and varying degrees of economic liberal. The party under the leadership of Prime Minister Boris Johnson advocates for a smaller government with low regulation, believing in the free market. It supports decreasing taxation on both businesses and individuals achieved by cutting government spending. The austerity programs implemented in past years by Tory governments included reductions in welfare spending, the cancellation of school building programs, reductions in local government funding, and an increase in the value-added tax. Spending on the police, courts, and prisons were also reduced. The party also argues for stricter immigration controls, making it much tougher for illegal immigrants to remain in the UK by restricting access to work, housing, benefits, healthcare, bank accounts, and driving licenses. The party believes in harsher criminal sentences, with some minor groups within the party even supporting the introduction of the death penalty. The Conservatives have a long history of disagreements on policy towards European integration and the European Union. As the party which called the referendum on the UK's membership of the European Union in 2016, and the one which has governed throughout the Brexit negotiations, these disagreements have not dissipated. Meanwhile, the leadership wants a hard Brexit on the terms of the withdrawal agreement agreed with the European Union in 2019. The deal would see the whole of the UK leave the EU single market and customs union, meaning the UK will need new trade deals with both the EU and non-EU countries. Northern Ireland would maintain a level playing field of equal regulations with the Irish Republic on goods, with the Northern Ireland Assembly having a regular veto. This agreement, in principle, passed the House of Commons in October, but MPs refused the government's voting timetable. This is considered to be the main reason for the Conservative government calling the snap election. The party is led by the former mayor of London, Boris Johnson. He's been a member of Parliament twice, once between 2001 and 2008, and again since 2015. He served as Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs between 2016 and 2018 before he became party leader and prime minister in July of this year, replacing Theresa May, who resigned after failing to get Parliament to agree to the Brexit deal she negotiated. The party is a member and co-founder of the European Conservatives and Reformist Party and group in the European Parliament. It has four MEPs. Before the ECR, they were members of the European Democrats, a subgroup of the EPP. The Labour Party is a centre-left socialist and social democratic party. It was founded in 1900 as a coalition of trade unions and other groups such as the Social Democratic Fabian Society, 
which promotes socialist and democratic values. It's been a major political power since the 1920s. The first Labour Prime Minister was voted into office in 1924, and the party was elected as a majority government for the first time in 1945, after being the junior partner in the wartime coalition with Churchill's conservatives. Since the Second World War, Labour has been the governing party four times and remained one of the two strongest parties in the country. While the party is ideologically diverse, its core is socially liberal, social democratic, and socialist. The party backs higher government spending, funded by increasing the income tax paid by the wealthiest 5% of Britons and corporations in order to increase spending on the government-run National Health Service, including making prescription drugs and university education free, as well as bringing rail, mail, water, and electricity provision under government control. The party also backs expanding the right to vote to 16 and 17 year olds, converting the upper house of the United Kingdom Parliament to an elected chamber, and expanding the workers' right to organize by making it easier to form trade unions. On the topic of Brexit, the party has been relatively divided. A significant proportion of its MPs are in favor of remaining in the European Union, while some MPs have voted for varying degrees of Brexit deals. The party leadership has voted against both Theresa May and Boris Johnson's deals negotiated with the EU. Party policy is to instead argue for negotiating a customs union-based deal with the European Union and then put it to a referendum of British people versus remaining in the EU. In 2010, the party left government for the first time in 13 years and has remained in opposition ever since. After a second electoral defeat in 2015, veteran left-wing campaigner Jeremy Corbyn was elected leader. Corbyn has been a member of Parliament since 1983, representing the North London seat of Islington North, remaining as a backbench MP until his election as leader. He defied expectations by leading the party to increase its seats in the 2017 snap election, denying the Conservatives a majority. However, it failed to achieve even a plurality themselves. The party leads a coalition government with the Liberal Democrats in Wales. On the European level, the party's 10 MEPs sit with the Socialists and Democrats group and is a member of the Party of European Socialists. The Liberal Democrats, commonly shortened to just the Lib Dems, were founded in 1988 as a formal merger of an electoral alliance formed in 1981 between the Liberal Party and the Social Democratic Party. The Liberal Party and its precursors have been a force in British politics for almost 300 years, whereas the SDP split from the Labour Party the same year they formed their electoral alliance with the Liberals. The high watermark of the alliance popularity was in their first election in 1983, when they achieved 25% of the vote, but only 12 out of 650 seats. The party entered government for the first time as the junior party in the 2010-2015 to coalition with the Conservatives. Voters largely turned out against the party in 2015 after the coalition, however, cutting the Liberal Democrat vote share to less than 10% for the first time in its history, and down to just eight seats. The party gained four more in 2017, and a further eight MPs defected to the party during the previous parliament. Modern Liberal Democrats are predominantly centrist liberals which support the UK's remaining in the EU. The party is currently led by its first female leader, Jo Swinson. Jo Swinson is a Scottish MP who held a junior government role in the 2010 coalition government. She lost her seat in 2015, but won it back in the 2017 national election. The party is running on an explicitly pro-EU platform in the coming parliament election. Despite previously arguing for a second referendum, the party now backs unilaterally revoking Article 50, which is the formal notification process to the EU that the country wants to leave, which would formally end the Brexit process. They argue that a parliamentary majority for the party would be a sufficient mandate for this. The party also supports pro-environmental policies, such as making the UK's energy production 80% renewable by 2030, in addition to changing the UK's electoral system from first-past-the-post to a proportional system. They also support increasing spending on education, including recruiting more than 20,000 more teachers. The party has agreed to an electoral alliance in 60 seats with the Welsh Progressive Regionalist Party, Plaid Cymru, and the Green Party of England and Wales for the 2019 national parliament election. The Liberal Democrats came in second in this June's European election, electing 16 MEPs who sit with the Renew Europe group of Liberals in the European Parliament. The Liberal Democrats are also a member of the ALDE party.
The Scottish National Party is a centre-left progressive regionalist party which campaigns for the independence of Scotland from the United Kingdom. The party actively campaigns in favour of the second Scottish independence referendum. The party is currently in its 12th year of devolved government in Scotland and holds a plurality of seats in the Scottish Parliament. The party was founded in 1934 and elected its first Member of Parliament in 1945 through a by-election. Since the creation of the Scottish Parliament in 1999, the party served two four-year terms as the largest opposition party and then formed government following three consecutive elections. In the year after the 2014 independence referendum, the UK Parliament had a general election, in which the SNP saw a massive surge, winning all but three Scottish seats in the House of Commons on 50% of the popular vote. Despite losing 21 seats in the 2017 snap election, the party remained the third largest party in the House of Commons. Beyond its independence policy, the party campaigns for the UK as a whole to remain in the European Union. It also advocates for the devolution of greater powers to the devolved Scottish Parliament in the interim before another independence referendum. Additionally, the SNP is against the UK having nuclear weapons based in Scotland. The party is a big tent party and therefore contains some ideological diversity, but the party leadership is generally socially liberal and social democratic. The party holds three of Scotland's six European Parliament seats, and their MEPs sit with the Greens European Free Alliance Group. Alan Smith, the party's lead candidate for the 2019 European election, is the president of the European Free Alliance Group. The United Kingdom Independence Party, or UKIP, is a right-wing to far-right political party. Founded in 1993 as an anti-European Union party, UKIP rose to prominence in the late 2000s and early 2010s under the leadership of Nigel Farage MEP, who is now the leader of the Brexit party. UKIP has only ever had two MPs, both of whom defected to the party from the Conservative Party in 2014. The party's most successful domestic election was in 2015, where the party won 12.6% of the popular vote, only winning one seat. The party topped the poll in the 2014 European Parliament election, winning 24 seats and 27% of the vote. The party advocates for a hard, no-deal Brexit. On policy, UKIP critiques the current number of migrants arriving in the country as having had a negative impact on the UK. The party doesn't believe in climate change caused by humanity, and would end government support for renewable energy. It currently has no leader, following the suspension and resignation of Richard Brain from the party in October 2019. UKIP was the founder of the Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy Group, the last iteration of the Europe of Nations Group. Some MEPs also sat with the ENF Group, now known as Identity and Democracy, with whom they still hold relations despite not having MEPs. There are three main independent Green parties which operate in the UK, each running in separate constituent countries. All three are environmentalist parties who support remaining in the European Union. The Green Party of Northern Ireland is a regional branch of the Green Party of Ireland, within the United Kingdom. They campaign against nuclear power, airport expansions, and they also advocate for nonviolence. The party holds two of the 90 seats in the Northern Ireland Assembly and is led by the Northern Irish Assembly member, Claire Bailey. The Scottish Green Party was formed in 1990. The party holds six of the 129 seats in the Scottish Parliament and achieved its highest ever vote share in this year's European Parliament election, winning over 8% of the popular vote. They narrowly missed out on a seat. The party supports Scottish independence, advocating for a Scottish Republic within the EU. The party is led by its co-leaders, Lorna Slater, and member of the Scottish Parliament, Patrick Harvey. The Green Party of England and Wales was founded in 1990, and is the only one of the three British Green Parties to currently have representation in the House of Commons, with one MP. The party is led by Jonathan Bartley, and member of the London Municipal Parliament, the London Assembly, Sean Barry. The party had its greatest domestic success in the 2015 general election, winning 3.6% of the popular vote. Moreover, the party won its highest vote share ever, 12%, winning 7 MEPs. The party campaigns against nuclear power, for animal rights, for example, introducing a limit on long-distance transport of live animals, 
and in favor of the four-day work week. The Green Party of England and Wales has agreed to an alliance of pro-Remain parties in the forthcoming general election with the Liberal Democrats and Plaid Cymru. The parties are all members of the European Green Party, which is affiliated with the Greens' EFA group in the European Parliament. The Democratic Unionist Party, or the DUP, is a right-wing and Christian fundamentalist political party which only runs in Northern Ireland. Alongside the left-wing Sinn Féin, the DUP is one of the two major parties in Northern Ireland. The DUP was founded in 1971 by fundamentalist and conservative Christian minister Ian Paisley, who had links to pro-British terrorist organizations during the violent conflict in Northern Ireland between paramilitary supporters and opponents of reunification with the Republic of Ireland between 1968 and 1998. Paisley and the DUP wanted Northern Ireland to remain part of the United Kingdom and opposed any political ties between the region and the Republic of Ireland. The conflicts formally ended in the 1998 Good Friday Agreement signed by both sides. After the Conservative Party lost its majority in the 2017 National Parliament election, Prime Minister Theresa May arranged a confidence and supply agreement with the DUP, which de facto ended earlier this year over disagreements about the European Union Withdrawal Agreement. Within the UK, the party only contests seats in Northern Ireland and wants the UK to leave the European Union with a deal that maintains free trade and free movement of people with the Republic of Ireland by ensuring there is no physical or hard border on the island of Ireland. At the same time, the party opposes any Brexit agreement in which Northern Ireland would have any regulation different from the rest of the United Kingdom. Furthermore, the party opposes the recent legalization of same-sex marriage and the decriminalization of abortions in situations where a pregnancy has not reached 28 weeks of gestation. The DUP has also revived calls for a 25-mile sea bridge to link Northern Ireland with Scotland. A large share of the party's membership also does not believe in man-made climate change. The DUP's single MEP is not part of any group in the European Parliament and is therefore a non-inscript. Sinn Féin, or in English, We Ourselves, is a left-wing democratic socialist party which advocates for Northern Ireland, a part of the UK and the island of Ireland, to be united with the Republic of Ireland. Together with the right-wing and Christian fundamentalist DUP, Sinn Féin is one of the two major parties in Northern Ireland. Founded in 1970 as a successor to the original party founded in 1905, the party has been running, with some interruptions, in elections for the British National Parliament since 1924. Elected Sinn Féin MPs do not sit in the UK Parliament in Westminster, practicing a policy of abstentionism. The reason for this is that the party refuses to pledge its allegiance to the head of the British state, the monarch, as an expression of the party's core belief in republicanism and the illegitimacy of British state control in Northern Ireland. During the violent conflict in Northern Ireland between armed groups of supporters and opponents of reunification with the Republic between 1968 and 1998, Sinn Féin had links to the terrorist organization the Provisional Irish Republican Army, or the IRA. Within the UK, the party only contests British parliamentary elections in Northern Ireland, but also exists in the Republic of Ireland. The party's leader, Mary Lou MacDonald, is a member of the Irish National Parliament, Michelle O'Neill is deputy leader of the party and Sinn Féin's leader in the Regional Assembly of Northern Ireland. Sinn Féin wants Northern Ireland to remain part of the European Union. In the case of a no-deal Brexit, the party suggested that a referendum for a united Ireland be called in Northern Ireland and in the Republic of Ireland, citing the fact that a majority in Northern Ireland voted to remain in the EU. The party is vehemently opposed to any Brexit deal which causes the return of a physical border on the island of Ireland between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. Beyond Brexit, Sinn Féin wants to give the Irish language the same legal status in Northern Ireland as Welsh currently has in Wales. It would allow Irish to be spoken in courts, schools, the elected assembly, and require bilingual signage. The party proposes a cap on public sector pay at three times the average worker's wage and an all-Ireland economy, with a common currency and one tax policy. In social terms, the party is generally liberal and, for example, supports same-sex marriage. The party is a member of the left-wing GUE-NGL group in the European Parliament. 
Plaid Cymru, or the Party of Wales in English, is a progressive, regionalist, and centre-left to left-wing party which advocates for the independence of Wales from the United Kingdom. Founded in 1929, the party has held constitutional representation in the House of Commons since 1974. In the devolved National Assembly for Wales, established in 1999, the party has enjoyed spells as the largest and second-largest opposition party, as well as one term as the junior partner in a coalition with the centre-left Labour Party between 2007 and 2011. The party only contests seats in Wales and campaigns for an independent Wales within the European Union. This election, the party is campaigning for a second referendum on the UK as a whole's membership of the European Union. Furthermore, the party believes in the preservation of Welsh culture, including the promotion of Wales as totally bilingual, defending the rights of Welsh language speakers as well as English speakers. Plaid Cymru is part of a Remain alliance with the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party of England and Wales for the 2019 general election. They've agreed that a single candidate from only one of these three parties will stand in 11 Welsh constituencies. The party is a member of the Transnational European Free Alliance, and its single MEP sits with the Greens EFA group in the European Parliament. The Social Democratic and Labour Party is a centre-left Social Democratic Party only running for national parliament seats in Northern Ireland. Founded in 1970 as a non-violent pro-Irish unification party, the SDLP spent much of the troubles the paramilitary conflict era in Northern Ireland between 1968 and 1998, as the largest pro-Irish reunification party. Since then, it's fallen behind the left-wing Sinn Féin. The party lost its representation in the UK Parliament in the 2017 general election, the first time since 1974. Today, the party advocates for the unification of Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. The SDLP advocates for Ireland to remain in the European Union through holding a second referendum. The party opposes any Brexit deal which would place a hard or physical border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. Alongside the UK Labour Party, the SDLP is affiliated with the centre-left S&D group in the European Parliament. Moreover, the party is affiliated with the Transnational Party of European Socialists. The party cooperates formally with Fianna Fáil in the Republic of Ireland, a member party of the Liberal Renew Europe group in the European Parliament. The Ulster Unionist Party, also known as the UUP, is a national conservative party only contesting seats in Northern Ireland. The party was founded in 1905 and had an alliance with the UK Conservative Party between 1905 and 1972, and again in 2008 and 2012. The party won seats in every UK parliamentary election between 1922 and 2010, before failing to elect any in the 2010 general election. It won two seats in 2015, but lost them again in 2017. The party supports Northern Ireland remaining a part of the UK, but opposes Boris Johnson's Brexit deal, arguing that it would push Northern Ireland away from the rest of the UK. The party campaigned for Remain during the referendum in 2016, before arguing for a Brexit with a deal after Leave won the vote. However, the party has since returned to say it is campaigning in the election on a Remain ticket, saying that remaining in the EU is a better deal than Johnson's Brexit agreement. The party has been led by Stephen Aiken since earlier this year, a member of the Northern Ireland Assembly. Alongside the Conservatives, the UUP is affiliated with the National Conservative ECR group in the European Parliament. Moreover, the party is affiliated with the Transnational European ECR Party. The Alliance Party of Northern Ireland is a Liberal Party only contesting British National Parliament seats in Northern Ireland. Alliance is the sister party of the Liberal Democrats on mainland Britain. Founded in 1970, the party is the largest party in Northern Ireland that is nominally neutral on the future of Northern Ireland with regard to remaining in the UK or uniting with the Republic of Ireland. The party has been the fifth largest party in the Northern Ireland Assembly since its formation. On policy, the party advocates for Northern Ireland and the UK remaining in the European Union to be achieved by a second European Union membership referendum on any deal with an option to remain in the European Union.
Alliance also campaigns for investment in more renewable energy in order to cut emissions by 80% by 2050. The party's leader, Naomi Long, is a former mayor of Belfast, the Northern Irish capital, and won the party's first seat in Westminster in 2010, which she held until the 2015 general election. This past June, she was elected an MEP representing Northern Ireland. Alliance NI sits with the Liberal Renew Europe group in the European Parliament alongside the Liberal Democrats in Great Britain. The Women's Equality Party, or WEP, is a center-left and feminist political party. The party was founded in 2015 by British-Danish comedian Sandy Toksvig and journalist Catherine Mayer. The party has seven stated goals centered around women's rights, including equal representation of women in politics, business, the media, and education, for equal pay, equal parenting rights, and ending violence against women. In this national parliament election, the WEP has an electoral pact with the Liberal Democrats in two constituencies. However, the WEP is continuing to stand candidates in three other constituencies where MP candidates face allegations of sexual misconduct and sexual assault. The party contested seven seats in the 2017 general election, averaging 0.9% of the vote in each constituency. The WEP does not have any MEPs, but informally cooperates with the Swedish political party Feminist Initiative, among other feminist parties. Feminist Initiative used to sit in the European Parliament with the center-left SND group. The Brexit Party is an anti-EU party, running in its first national parliament election this year. The party was founded by Nigel Farage and Catherine Blakelock in 2018 as a breakaway from the right-wing UKIP. Both leaders criticized their old party for increasingly Islamophobic policy. Nigel Farage leads the party and is considered to be one of the faces of the campaign for the UK to leave the European Union. Farage entered the European Parliament in 1999, representing UKIP, and after a brief period as an independent, now leads the Brexit Party's MEPs. He also led the now-defunct Populist and Anti-Establishment's Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy Group and its predecessors from 2004 until the end of the 2014-2019 European Parliamentary term. Farage has run unsuccessfully for the UK's national parliament seven times and is not personally contesting a seat in this election. The party advocates for what it calls a clean-break Brexit, which is akin to leaving the European Union without a deal. This is the central focus of the party's election campaign. However, the party also wants to redirect government spending away from the EU, reduce foreign aid, and cancel the High Speed 2 infrastructure project, instead cutting both inheritance tax and some business taxes. The party also supports a cross-party campaign to reform the UK's electoral system towards proportional representation. The party made its electoral debut in the 2019 European Parliament election, achieving a plurality on 31% of the vote and electing 29 MEPs, the largest single-party delegation from any EU member state. The party sits with the non inscrits group of non-affiliated parties in the European Parliament. The Independent Group for Change, which is generally abbreviated as Change UK or CHUK, is a liberal and liberal conservative political party. The party was founded in 2018 by MPs who split from the National Conservative Conservative Party and the centre-left Labour Party, hosted its first election in this year's European Parliament election and reached 3.3% of the overall vote. The Conservative MPs, like Anna Saubry, are mainly unsatisfied with the way their former party handled the Brexit negotiations with the EU. They argued that Britain should hold a second EU referendum on any Brexit deal, a so-called people's vote. The Labour MPs who joined Change UK left their original party, criticizing the rise of anti-Semitism and the economic shift to the left led by the Corbyn leadership. The party advocates for the UK's remaining in the NATO military alliance. Beyond this, most political goals remain vague. The party argues for a, quote, mixed social market economy with well-regulated private enterprises. The party is centered around leader Anna Saubry, who held junior government roles throughout the Cameron and May governments. The party is only planning to contest three seats in the coming election, the three in which it has incumbent MPs. 
Before the European Parliament election in May 2019, Change UK suggested to Europe elects that it intended to join either the Liberal Renew Europe group or the centre-right and Liberal Conservative EPP group in the European Parliament. 